Hi Aquarius, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what awaits for you in the area of love from now until the end of January 2021? What awaits for you in the area of love? I'm going to go ahead and look at your energy, and then I'm going to look at the energy of whoever it is that you are connecting to in the area of love. So this can be someone you're dating, someone you're thinking about, you're interested in, or someone you are currently involved in, involved with in a relationship, whatever it might be for you. Okay, Spirit, please show me the energy of Aquarius in regards to love and in regards to this connection. The energy of Aquarius spirit, please. Okay, first card we have here is death. Death. Can be connecting with a Scorpio. Next card we have here is the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. And we have here the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Cups. I feel like you're making an important decision here, Aquarius, with these two cards, Death and King of Pentacles. Um, yeah, there's some sort of, um, I'm gonna spell, there's some sort of love, love offer or some sort of love potential partner here that you are like it's like you're thinking very seriously about love um, in this time. This death card represents an ending, so um, you might be considering um, ending um, a relationship and starting a new one because we do have the Ace of Cups, which represents new beginnings. Um, but with the King of Pentacles as your energy, I do feel like, um, like I said, you're... You're thinking very seriously about this um, this love opportunity or just love in general um, I almost feel like you are making a list or um, like thinking about the pros and cons of a certain person or a certain relationship um, yeah, I feel like I'm seeing like these scales where you're balancing pros and cons, pros and cons, and you're trying to, um, yeah, you or might you might be deciding between two people. That might also be um, the case here. But whatever it is, it's like you you're taking your time because the King of Pentacles likes to take his time. You're taking the time to just analyze every detail and think about every possible outcome. And yeah, you really want to make the right decision and you want to you want to be realistic and you want to be practical. Um, you don't want to just completely go by your emotions. You want to. Yes, you want to listen to your heart, but at the same time, you want to make a decision that will um, that will create long-term results and, or long-term success. Because I do feel like you are looking for something long-term here, and something committed. Let's look at the energy of whoever it is that you're connecting with. In love, what is their energy? please show me the energy of this other person whoever it is that Aquarius is connecting to in love show me their energy please okay we have here the three of swords the three of swords this person is heartbroken the Five of Wands, um, fights, arguments, disagreements, and the Eight of 
cups, the eight of cups walking away. Yeah, so definitely here is a definitely more negative, heavy energy. This person feels heartbroken. Um, there might be a third party situation going on. Here, there's been a lot of conflict, um, inner conflict and maybe outer conflict also. Maybe they've been arguing with you a lot. You two have been arguing with each other. There's been a lot of disagreements between you two. Maybe this is why you have the card of death here as the first card. Maybe there's a relationship here that has has gone as far as it, as it can go. Um, and at this point, maybe you two are just hurting each other by, by being together. Um, yeah, because this is a lot of... Both of these together represents a lot of grief and a lot of... Um, stress, conflict, um, pain, so it's almost like, I don't know, I think you two just, um, yeah, you two are not helping each other, I feel, um, there's no, I don't feel an, an energy of happiness here, maybe at some point you two were happy, but I don't feel like you two are happy anymore. I feel I almost feel like this is a long relationship here. Um, this, for some of you, this is someone that you've been in a long relationship with. Because I guess I'm saying it because of this Eight of Cups here. Um, it's like you two have gone through many experiences together. Um, yeah, and I feel like there's nothing left. It's like this relationship has gone as far as it can. And I feel like this person is, um, yeah, they're walking away or they're thinking about walking away. For some of you, this can be someone new or not someone new, but just someone recent um, that you recently connected with because I'm seeing the Ace of Cups here. So it could be someone that you recently connected with that um, something happened between you two that it just didn't work out for some reason. But we're going to clarify. We're going to use um, another deck here and clarify these cards. I'm going to start clarifying the death card here in your energy. Spirit, please clarify the death card here. What is the... What does the death card mean here? Clarifying the death in regards to the energy of Aquarius. Please clarify that. Okay, we have here the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles, which is the match of the King of Pentacles here. So here we have the pair. So, yeah, um, clarifying the death card, it's possible that you are in some sort of committed relationship already, or you're married, um, and the death card is like you're, you're ending this relationship, or you're thinking about ending this relationship, or you're in the process of ending this relationship. Um, yeah, um, and I feel like... Maybe you're possibly moving towards something new here, a new love. Let's um, get another card to clarify death. So you might be connecting with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Spirit, please clarify death here with another card. Clarifying death, please. Okay, we have here the Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands. So with this energy, I feel like this is you moving forward. I feel like, um, yeah, it looks like you're, yeah, you're like you're moving forward here. Um, you're accepting this ending, accepting this, this conclusion here, and you're moving forward or you're wanting to move forward here with the Eight of Wands. Um, 
Now, normally this is a card of communication, but I don't, I'm not particularly feeling like communication. I just feel like you're, you want to quickly move on with your life. It's like you want to start something new. You want to have this new beginning. Like you're tired of um, going around in circles or, or procrastinating, I feel. It's like you're just ready to move on. So let me clarify this King of Pentacles now. King of Pentacles. Okay, Spirit, please clarify King of Pentacles. Well, you might be communicating also to this Queen of Pentacles that you want to end things with them. That could also be that you're communicating with them. That you're no longer interested here or you no longer want to keep um, keep being in this relationship with them. Clarify King of Pentacles Spirit. Okay, we have here the Four of Cups. Four of Cups. Get one more card to clarify. Clarify King of Pentacles. One more card. And we have here the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. I'm feeling an energy of an apology here with these two cards Page of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. I feel like someone is apologizing to you, Aquarius, but I don't feel like you're interested here. Or maybe someone is um, offering you um, a second chance or offering you an opportunity to, to start over. But whatever it is, I feel like you're not interested here. Yeah. I feel like you're focused on moving on. Perhaps maybe you're considering it a little bit, but for the most part, I don't think you're interested. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups to see what is this about. If it's with this Queen of Pentacles or if it's with someone, somebody else. Clarify Queen of, um, Ace of Cups, please. Clarify Ace of Cups, spirit. Okay, we have here the two of pentacles two of pentacles so you're juggling here between the two options so i'm getting a third party situation definitely here um for some of you there's there might be two options here um, i feel like this ace of cups can represent um a new person or it can just represent um, starting over again with someone that you've already been with or that you are yeah you've already been in a relationship with kind of um, clearing this st the slates and starting over let's get another card to clarify ace of cups please okay we have here the king of pentacles again King of Pentacles. So yeah, you're you're weighing your options very, very carefully. King of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups here. Um, so this there's an important decision that you have to make here in regards to love and in regards to some relationship here or some opportunity here. So I do feel like you might be, like I said, it's like you it's possible you might be considering um, starting over with someone that you're already involved with or you've already been in a relationship with some past past person, past energy, someone you already know, or or offering this to a new person, someone that you've you've never been with before. So that's that's going to be for some of you. Yeah, for some reason, it's a difficult decision here for you. And it's a difficult decision to decide where who you want to offer this cup of love to. 
Okay, so let's look at the energy of your person here, starting with the Three of Swords, whoever it is that you're connecting with. What is the Three of Swords here, Spirit? Please clarify Three of Swords. Okay, we have here the Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords. Okay, someone feels trapped. Someone feels like they've lost control. Please give me another card to clarify the Three of Swords. The Page of Cups, Page of Cups. Okay, so there's someone who definitely have had feelings for you. This is a page, so this can be someone new, someone that is relatively new in your life, or someone that is younger than you. Yeah, they're definitely heartbroken here. Um, it's possible that they were expecting to receive some sort of offer and I feel like maybe they didn't receive that offer. Um, maybe this is the cup that they were waiting for, this Ace of Cups. They were waiting for this Ace of Cups here um, to be offered to them, but it didn't happen and they feel heartbroken. Um, and I feel like it's because you're still taking your time with the King of Pentacles. It's like you, you, you haven't decided yet. Yeah. Okay, so let's clarify here the... I actually want to clarify that with more, one more card. Let's get one more card to clarify the Three of Swords spirit. Clarifying the Three of Swords. The Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups. So this was... This was something that was going to make them happy. Um, this was their wish. Th their wish was to receive this Cup of Love, this offer. But it didn't happen. For some reason it didn't happen. I feel like they feel like they're in the dark here. They're in the dark. They feel trapped and they feel like like they don't understand what's happening. I feel like they're confused. Okay, so let's clarify here the five of wands. Clarify the five of wands prayer, please. We have here the Two of Swords. Another card, please, to clarify. And the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Yeah, so there's a lot of conflict here, but this person is like... Um, I feel like this person was expecting um, was expecting a certain result or a certain outcome, and things didn't work out the way they they had planned. This Queen of Wands here, um, I feel like she's in the dark here as well, um, at the same energy because this Ace of Wands, Eight of Wands, um, she's blindfolded, and. This two of wands is also blindfolded. So I feel like your person feels like they're in the dark. Like, um, yeah, like they don't understand why this conflict is happening. This five of wands. That's what I'm getting. It's like, why is there a problem here? Why is there an issue here? I feel like that's why what they're asking. They don't understand what the problem is. They don't understand why they didn't receive this page of cups, this offer. They don't understand why they're not being ha why don't 
why don't they feel happy it's like it's, it's almost like they had a certain expectation of how things were going to happen between you two and it's like they're confused here okay so let's clarify the eight uh, eight of cups clarify the eight of cups spirit Okay, we have here the nine of wands yeah so um, they haven't walked away yet they're being very guarded here and very defensive but they haven't walked away another card please to clarify the eight of cups the two of wands yeah again they're deciding they're in the process of making a decision here whether to walk away or not whether to leave this relationship behind or not. This person might be tired of waiting, um, Aquarius, to, to receive this Ace of Cups here. Because, like I said, um, in your energy, you are juggling here. Um, you're, you're juggling, um, you're trying to make a decision here. You're juggling between two decisions, two options, and you're taking your time. You haven't offered um, this opportunity of love to anyone yet. Um, and maybe this tired, this person is tired of waiting for that. Um, maybe they expected it to. They expected to receive that by now. Um, and yeah, they're like they're heartbroken. I feel like maybe you blocked them. Maybe you blocked them, or maybe you ignored them or avoided them and they feel like they're they don't understand what's happening they don't understand what this conflict is about what this five of wands is about yeah they they feel like everything was going really well um so i feel like they're confused here um, and yeah, they're thinking about walking away. I don't feel like they've walked away yet, but they're considering leaving behind this wish that they were wishing for with the Nine of Cups. So let's see what's the outcome here. Where is this all heading towards? What is the outcome here of this connection for Aquarius? What is the most most likely outcome for the near future? Okay, we have here the Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands, and New Beginning. We have here the Card of Justice, um, bringing things into balance and um, fairness. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like somebody, I feel like there's something that wasn't fair here. Yeah. Something wasn't fair, something wasn't, um, something wasn't just. Because I feel like, um, the justice card feels like something, um, has to come into balance here. Or somebody has to fix or correct a situation here. Um, and it might take work here with the Seven of Pentacles here. It's like it's not going to be easy to bring back into fairness um, some situation here that happened. It's like it's going to take a, some work to to create balance here once again between between you and this person yes yeah, so, because I feel like there was something unfair here um, but there is passion with the ace of wands here and there is the opportunity of a new beginning um, I feel like both of you feel very passionate towards each other so I do feel like it's it's available it's available but the seven of Pentacles 
says that a lot of effort and a lot of work is going to be needed to to bring back the um, fairness, the an energy of fairness and equilibrium and balance between you two. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it does feel, I mean, because there was a heartbreak here. There was a three of swords. There was a heartbreak, so I do feel like something wasn't done the right way. Something was, um, was unfair. Um, so, so yeah, I do feel like that is something that has to be worked on. Um, making amends, um, apologizing, or... Yeah, accepting some sort of wrong, confronting some sort of wrong behavior. Recognizing it and bringing and fixing it and bringing it back, back into balance. Um, that's what I'm feeling there. So it's going to take some time. It's going to take some like evidence, I feel, like proving yourself. Somebody has to prove themselves here. But there is here um, Ace of Wands, so a new beginning here. A uh, passionate new beginning. So I'm going to leave it there, Aquarius. I hope this reading was helpful and I hope it made sense to someone. I hope it resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Okay, bye Aquarius.